Hey everyone. So today we're taking a look at IR Mavericks with the targeting pod on the Harrier. Now this is a workflow that's changed a number of times over the last several months, and unfortunately the documentation for it hasn't kept pace. So it's become a bit of a point of confusion for people. I know it's something that I've gone over with my own group of friends a lot of times, because I forget, they forget, we all forget. And so I wanted to make a quick little video just to go over it because it's not that difficult, but it's also not that intuitive to figure out. There are some differences from other jets you're used to, like the Warthog or the Hornet. So let's jump in and get to it. All right, so our targets are gonna be dead ahead in between those two smoke pillars up there. They're just kind of a point of reference for you to kind of know where to look. They're on the road down there, and the circle that you see is waypoint one. Now I recommend you set up a waypoint for your AO. It'll give you steering to the area, as well as a good place to start looking on your targeting pod because it has such a narrow field of view. So that's all that's telling us. Um, we're currently in nav mode um, and that's just giving us the waypoint circle on our HUD. So we wanna set up both, um, both of our screens and we'll wanna do this well in advance of arriving at the AO. If you get to this point and you haven't done any setup, you're too late. Now you're gonna be orbiting around waiting for everything and you're just basically waiting to die. Uh, so do this right after you take off or as soon as you get up to cruising. So on the right screen, center OSB for menu here, and then T-Pod. Uh, it should not say not ready here. If it still says not ready, it's still cooling down, you're gonna have to wait, it takes several minutes. Once that goes away, you can hit standby to switch it to operational. And then on the left screen, uh, same idea, we're gonna go center OSB and then put it in stores. Now the first thing we need to do is make sure that we've selected our IR Mavericks and that they're cooling down. So we go master arm on and then box IR Mav. And we're going to need to be in air to ground mode as well. So we'll hit air to ground and now it should be boxed. At this point, you'll either see it's cooling down here. Uh, it'll say standby, I do believe. And then once it's ready, it'll say RDY or ready. And that's right here. If it doesn't say ready, your IRM halves are cooling down and you didn't start it soon enough. All right, so once that's ready, we've got that boxed. We've got four IR maps. We can see them on our stations over here. We've got our T-Pod ready. We are basically ready to start looking for targets. So uh, the way we do this in other jets is typically we, we tell the jet what we want our sensor of interest to be. We basically say, I want this screen or that screen to be the one that I'm controlling with my TDC, my throttle designator controller or slew axis. Um, and we don't do that in the Harrier. Instead, we actually just put it into a T-Pod slew mode so that it doesn't matter which screen it's on, we're gonna be controlling the targeting pod. And we do that by pressing sensor select, depress two times. And what we'll see is on this screen, we'll go from INS mode up here to T-Pod. So press our sensor select two times, we get T-Pod. And now we know that our slew axis or buttons, depending on what you're using, will slew this around nicely. Now, uh, a couple of things to note. So up here on the HUD, that octagon box up there, that's where our teapot is looking. And if we're way off center, if we've been looking around before, we're starting another mission, whatever, we can uh, re sight this by pressing nose wheel steering two times. And that will re sight it when we're in uh, teapot mode. There we go. And just keep pressing it until you see that diamond or that octagon reappear up here. I had to press it a third time, I'm not entirely sure why. But there it is. So. Now the way you want to start is slew your octagon here onto the waypoint circle. And this gives you a nice starting point for where to look because your targeting pod is pretty narrow and it's pretty hard to know what you're even looking at or which way to go. So if you put it here on the waypoint, you know that you can't be too far from where you want to or where you expect to find targets. So once they're overlapping, transition down here to this screen. And now we can see there's our targets right there and they're pretty visible. Um, but to zoom in, you can map buttons I've, like I've done to the zoom OSBs here. We can zoom in. So now all we need to do is designate this and say this is the target that I have selected to die. And we do that by pressing TDC depress once. And now we'll see T-Pod T des down here. We've designated something using the targeting pod. On our HUD, we'll get distance information 6.2 to the target. And then um, on our left screen, we'll be able to uncage our Maverick. So we can do that, press cage on cage, and there goes our Maverick. Now we're still in T-Pod mode. And this is what I mean about not selecting a screen to control, you're selecting a, uh, well, a sensor. <laughs> um, and we're still in T-Pod mode. So if we try to slew, we're gonna slew around the T-Pod. What's interesting about that is that the uh, Maverick Seeker head is slaved to it. So as we move the T-Pod around, you can see on the right screen it's moving, the Maverick Seeker head will follow it. 
Now, if we wanted to, if we actually want to use the Maverick, we have to get out of T-Pod mode and into IR Maverick mode. So to get out of T-Pod mode, it's the exact same way we got in. It's sensor select, depress two times. And that puts us back to INS mode. Now to go from INS mode to IR Mav mode, we do sensor select switch forward once. And that switches the screen up here to IR Mav. Now we're in control of just the IR Maverick. And if we slew around again, the T-Pod stays put, but the IR Maverick sensor is moving. And whenever it sees contrast, it will automatically snap to it. If it doesn't, like right after you uncage it, you can press TDC depress, the same thing you use to designate the target, and it will lock in if it can. Our range from the target is visible on the HUD, about 6.2. You can probably get a lock up to eight nautical miles-ish, depending on what conditions are like. Um, I typically try to start this flow somewhere between 10 to 15 nautical miles away so that I'm ready and that I can pick up a lock from maximum range. We'll talk about why in a second. So once your crosshairs close in, you're in IR Mav, you've slewed over, the crosshairs close in, you're ready to fire. So, uh, weapon release, rifle. Now you can watch it on the teapot. You can also fly away, you can slew away, you can start looking for new targets, you can do whatever you want at this point. Because this missile is infrared, it has its own seeker head right there, and it's tracking its target by itself. We do not need to support this missile at any point. We just fire and forget, and that's kind of the beauty of the IR Maverick over the Laser Maverick, which you have to support all the way to the ground. So there's our targets right down there. It's tracking one of them. I'm going to hit Control, left Control, F11 for in place free cam. Boom. Shack 1 BTR 80. Three remaining. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what to do with subsequent targets, because we can start the whole flow over again. We can put it back in T-Pod slew mode, sensor select, depress two times, then we can nose wheel steering two times and rebore sight, and then we can start seeking for new targets. But if something is really close, like in this instance here, where it's just right down the road is our next target, we don't have to go through that whole process again. We don't have to designate with a targeting pod again, because we're already looking basically in the right area all we need to do is uncage our next Maverick and then seek that over to the next target because it's so close. And this also saves us time if we're doing multiple or concurrent shots in the same approach. So, um, without touching anything since we've launched, um, I'm just going to press Cage Uncage. The next Maverick is now uncaged and it's staring at the last target. We're back in INS mode because we launched the old Maverick, so we have to put this one into Maverick mode as well. So we do sensor select forward one time, it goes into IR Mav, and then we can just slew our Maverick Seeker. And right away, there's our lock, rifle, and away it goes. So that's pretty much it for the flow. It's just, you have to find that first one with the targeting pod because the targeting pod is so much easier to work with. You can orbit and look at things and slew around while in an orbit not something you can do with the Maverick Seeker head itself. You can zoom, change your field of view, like there's a bunch of advantages to having the targeting pod to designate the target in the first place. But then once you've designated one, you can just slew the next Maverick Seeker head to the next target as long as it's close by. So I'm going to um, see if I can designate both of the next two. I'm going to fly away, put a little bit of distance on, and then see if I can do an approach and take out the remaining two BTRs in one go. All right, rolling out here with about uh, 11 and a half nautical miles to the target. We're gonna go through the whole flow here. So, uh, put ourselves in TDC slew mode, sensor select, depress two times. I'm gonna bore sight, because who knows where my targeting pod might have been looking, and I'm going to reselect it over top of my waypoint one circle. Then I'm gonna look at the screen here, I try to find two more targets. There's one over there. My approach is not very good, and one of those is obscured by trees but I just select that right there, designate it, get myself out of T-Pod mode, uncage the Maverick, sensor select forward to IR Mav mode, TDC depress to lock it on, rifle, and then I'm going to come right and see if I can find the other one, because it's now hidden behind the trees. So while that Maverick is flying, we don't need to do anything with the T-Pod. I don't need to even point it there. I could look away or whatever, and that would be fine. We'll turn back in. And 
then when we're looking in generally the right direction here, right there, that square on the HUD gives us our uh, Maverick Seeker head. Cage on cage, there we go. And then uh, sensor select forward, slew, TDC depress, or if we need to, and then rifle. All right, so that's just a quick little tutorial on how to use the IR Mavericks with a targeting pod in the Harrier, at least as of April 23rd, 2021. Um, I will leave a link to this mission so you can try it out for yourself, as well as kneeboard pages with the sensor select controls and uh, with the steps for this workflow that you can download from my Patreon page, which you'll find linked below as well. Um, I think that's about it. If you guys have any comments or questions or corrections or anything, please let me know below. I'd love to hear from you, and I'll catch you next time.